Aaron, the offense was extremely quiet early. What was Walker doing to keep you hitless through five plus? I thought his command was really good. Um, he was, you know, working both sides of the plate, but working that comeback pitch to the outside corner, working the slider off that. Um, you know, thought thought we at least, you know, made it a little bit tough on him and, and drove his pitch count up. Had some good at bats in the fifth where we didn't we didn't end up scoring, and then obviously the sixth where we finally broke through a little bit. But um, I thought command wise, he was pretty good. This team has now lost six of seven. You came out and said it's do or die. General Manager Brian Cashman made comments. How spoke the other day? What's it going to take for this team to to find their way? We got to play complete games, both sides of the ball. We got to pitch, catch it, and 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 offense. I mean, that's what it's going to take. You know, I I know it's the question everyone's got to ask. We got to go do it. You know, where we can talk about it till we're blue in the face. Um, we've got to put together complete games, especially when we're going up against uh, good opponents. Is it confusing to you as to why this team hasn't been able to do that? It's frustrating. Um, it's definitely frustrating because certainly, um, you know, know what these guys are capable of, know what we're capable of. And, uh, you know, to this point, it hasn't been good enough yet. Montgomery was just in there and he had said that at this point, it's almost like he'd rather just give up line drives with the amount of soft contact that teams are essentially doing damage with. Just does that add to, to the frustration? He's essentially doing what he wants to do and not getting the end result. Yeah, I mean. And yeah, and not taking. A, I thought the Mets had a really good approach today. Uh, you know, did a good job putting the ball in play. Um, but yeah, I, I thought Monty actually threw the ball well. They they made it tough on him. So you know, he he had to, you know, got in some trouble a little bit. You know, had a little bit of a higher pitch count there for the point of the game where he's at. But he made a lot of really big pitches. And then, you know, even even, you know, to knock him out of the game. You know, I think four guys reach base in a row but you know it wasn't like he was um <clears throat> getting hit too hard around the yard but um you know so I know frustrating for him but you know overall I thought he actually threw the ball well Eric Boland you have the next question Aaron I know it's kind of a harsh word but given the team that you left spring training with and the expectations and all of that we've talked about since February at the midway point of the season, is it embarrassing to be just one game on over 500? Um, it's frustrating. It's, you know, we're all, you know, pissed off about it, obviously. Um, we've set a much higher bar in there. Um, <clears throat> and we haven't, to this point, lived up to that. So, um, you know, we've, we've got to turn it around in a, in a big-time way if uh, – if we're going to get to be the team we, we want to be. But, um, you know, it's certainly been been frustrating to this point. Um, and I know guys are upset and not okay with it. Um, you know, you know, I'll never be embarrassed about what those guys put in and what we, what we you know, try to do on a regular basis. Um, proud to be associated with them. But, you know, we all understand it's got to be better. Zach Braziller, you have the next question. Go ahead. Aaron, what, what did you see from, from Justin in that inning? Obviously, it's been a tough year for him. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly wasn't close to the results. I mean, it was, it was some soft contact and then, and then a walk, which obviously is, is not good. For, for all the guys to reach base on him. But um, so it was actually coming out all right. Um, and it's not like he got hit overly hard. It's just, you know, obviously frustrating for him um, because I like his first time out, the stuff was definitely different than what we saw prior to him going on the IL. And I thought the same, same was true today. He's got more life now on the fastball. Um, he's throwing harder. Um, so, Obviously, a very frustrating outing, but um, he's in a much better place physically uh, than he was a few weeks ago. Go next to Greg Joyce. Aaron, how did you balance uh, going to King there in the bullpen to get you through the rest of the way versus keeping him available for tomorrow? 
Um, ask it again. How, how did you balance uh, just going to King there for to get yeah, the rest of the game I mean, versus having him for the mom? Yeah, I mean, just having obviously his length um, and not wanting to at that point when we're down big use up <clears throat> a bunch of guys when you know um, – in a doubleheader scenario, obviously we got Garrett going, but you know you want to keep a number of guys available, and and so fairly easy decision. And just on, on the lineup, did you consider getting an Odor in there? He had had some success against Walker in the past. Um, I, I mean, I, I consider everything, so um, I, I, I guess I considered it, but I uh, wasn't gonna. I was going with our with our guys today.